Hey friends. It's uh, Wednesday, March 8th here in Navarre, Florida. And uh, as you guys know, we've got a wedding on our hands. So I'm gonna run a little, a few errands today. We've got some family coming in. Chrissy's daughter and her mother should both be here this afternoon. And uh, while she's at work before she goes off to pick them up, I'm gonna run to the base real quick, get this hair taken care of, get trimmed up, make it look nice for the wedding this weekend. and. Uh, Go do some man things like uh, purchasing some meat and some alcohol. So let's I go. Just noticed there's a piece of bird poop on the hood of my car. I don't know how I got there if the car was parked in the garage, but that simply won't do. So we're gonna hit the car wash real quick, go on our way to the base, get that knocked off. This is the loudest dang car wash ever. Car wash, please deposit 12 down. So just finishing up on base, pretty successful trip here. Got the old haircut. I uh, spent a couple hundred bucks at the class six and just finished up at the commissary and that was that was pretty fun. You know, of course cashiers asking all the questions, where's the party at? Because we bought a lot of chips and uh, other condiments and stuff like that. And the bagger that took it out to the car saw the boss and just about lost his mind. That was pretty fun. So now we're packed up getting ready to head back to the house unload everything and then make a second trip out to get all the stuff that we couldn't get here at the commissary on base so we'll check in later all right so everything's unloaded from our first trip out uh, and I'll just run down what we got for you guys uh, margaritas will not be a problem we've got lots of margarita mix here we've got some Jose Cuervo we're gonna mix that with uh, I've got a couple of bottles of rum here uh, Captain Morgan and of course got to have some Sailor Jerry's on tap uh, went with a local Florida beer selection. Got some Cigar City Brewing out of Tampa with the uh, Florida Cracker and the Tampa Style Lager down here. Um, a couple of other companies local to this area. Got the Beach Blonde Ales. And of course, if you know me, you know I love Key Lime, Key Lime anything, um, Key West anything. So we got the Key Lime flavored beer here. It's actually really tasty. Uh, and then of course 30A, again beach blonde uh, theme here, because I'm marrying my beach blonde if you will. But uh, 30A is also just a great area in this area of Florida on the Gulf Coast. And it's uh, one of our favorite areas to visit, do a little day trip out there, just kind of see the things that are out there to see. Uh, moving into the food, you know we got our uh, <clears throat> black beans, of course got to have some, some Cholula on tap. Uh, these three pork butts are going to be the centerpiece. I'll be working on these over the next two days or so. Uh, planning on doing a brine, soak them overnight, and then smoke them on the grill. Um, see what we can do with these and then tear them apart and have some shredded pork tacos. Uh, of course, got about four and a half pounds of cheese there. Got some fresh limes, jalapenos, red onions, tomatoes, and cilantro. And then over here, uh, you got your sour cream hiding back there, but we've got some. Uh, Cool Whip, some cream cheese, and some butter here, and that's going to turn into something pretty, pretty special. We're excited about, and of course, we got chips on deck. So, we hope you enjoy the uh, menu here. Again, it's just low threat, low key taco bar, street taco style. That's the, uh, that's kind of what we're after. So, hope you enjoy. So, I know a couple of you. Are probably... All right, we're back. It's been a pretty eventful day so far. I uh, had a really successful trip to the commissary on base to get the grocery shopping done, class six. Got a lot of a lot of drinks, a lot of alcohol there. And uh, obviously the haircut came out okay. Not bad for a base barbershop. But uh, as I was unloading everything inside, it occurred to me that a lot of folks that are either attending this wedding, uh, wishing they could be here, or uh, just watching this video when, once it's posted to YouTube. A lot of folks might not understand where the name The Boogies comes from. Um, we often refer to ourselves as T-Boogie, C-Boogie. Um, so I just want to take a quick minute to kind of explain where those names come from and, and why we call ourselves that. Uh, for me, it goes back to my previous assignment. I was stationed in Spain. Um, there was a holiday party, there was alcohol involved, there was music, and but I guess the jury's still out on whether or not those were good moves or bad dance moves, but boogie stuck. So here I am, I've, uh, I've, I've transitioned to the state of Florida, um, set up for a couple months here and get a, uh, get a text on Facebook that, hey, this, this girl's out in St. Augustine, you might wanna go check her out, her name's Chrissy. 
So I said, all right, start talking to her on Facebook a little bit. And uh, sure enough, end up getting invited to her birthday party out there. And uh, six hour drive, made the trip. First one to show up that evening. And uh, we're both nervous as could be, I'm sure. And uh, especially her. But um, we said, well, let's go ahead and uh, we'll head down to her favorite place. Um, Jack's in the taco shop are her two favorite places in St. Augustine, right there on A1A. And uh, you'll notice that theme carried over to our wedding as we're having margaritas and tacos. See, somebody's paying attention. But uh, anyway, that first that first evening there, we, we like I said, we, we took off to Jack's to have a drink, kind of calm the nerves, calm the situation there a little bit, you know, ease in and, and greeting one another. And uh, for, one of the first things she says to me is, all right, look, for whatever reason, I can't call you rich, so you're gonna have to come up with something else I can call you, because if you don't, I'm just gonna call you Bob. I will not call you Rich the rest of this night. And I said, all right, well, I could think of a lot of things better than Bob, but you know, let's just go with T-Boogie. And I, I kind of explained where that name came from, and uh, since then, she's called me T-Boogie too, so it's really worked out well. So, fast forward a little bit. Um, <clears throat> One of our first nights together, uh, she called me T-Boogie, and, and on the fly, maybe a little bit, I called her C-Boogie, and, uh, you know, for Chrissy, and since then, it's it's stuck for both of us, so she's C-Boogie, I'm T-Boogie, we together collectively are the Boogies. Um, if you follow our YouTube channel at all, um, or Facebook, you'll see that we've got videos out there, trips to Key West, to the Bahamas. Uh, the expectation right now is we are fixing to embark on a three-year tour to Marone Air Base in Spain. And these adventures of the boogies will absolutely continue. There will be lots of opportunities for us to travel over there. Uh, we're really looking forward to it. She's obviously heard all my stories uh, before we were together, before we were uh, knowing for sure that we were going to Spain together. Um, she heard all those stories, so she's really excited about going. And uh, I can't wait to take her over there and be her tour guide and, and see some stuff that I haven't seen either. So um, I would say to our friends and family and anybody else subscribed to this YouTube channel, just uh, keep keep watching. Spread the word. Um, keep watching. We'll be uh, we'll be posting new videos as they become available. Um, and we're, we're looking forward to it. So thanks for being with us.